Auto Mist is the new way to protect your home from fire. This short video shows the results of the first fire test of the system run at the Little Rissington Still Air Fire Test Facility. For these tests we created a kitchen of 4 by 3 meters. The test simulates a worst case incident where the fire is around 4 meters from the Auto Mist system and the door is left wide open. Fire and smoke sensors were placed on the ceiling close to the sink and thermocouples measured the waste level and ceiling level temperature at two locations. We simulated both cooker and furniture fires. The so-called kitchen packet sets an oil and wood fire in a frying pan on a kitchen unit. The protocol is based on Sintef guidelines. The furniture packet uses pieces of foam attached to a metal and board frame. Seen here from above, heptane soaked wicks are used to light the foam. And a vessel in the corner contains heptane and water with a wooden crib on the top. This is also set alight. In each of these videos you'll see time-lapse footage of the fire without and with auto mist. At the bottom you'll see how auto mist reduces temperature in the room. First a kitchen fire packet. The auto mist run on the right was triggered by a heat alarm. The temperature is quite quickly brought down from over 100 degrees Celsius to around 50. In test 2 we set a more serious kitchen fire. Auto mist was triggered by an optical smoke detector and already you can see a slight temperature drop. When the fire catches the temperature reaches only 70 degrees with auto mist whereas in the uncontrolled fire we measure almost 300 degrees. In test 3 we simulate a fast burning furniture fire. With auto mist activated, the temperature is quickly stabilised around the 50 degrees Celsius mark, while in the uncontrolled blaze we measured well over 300 degrees at waist height. The last test shows the effect of early activation using a smoke rather than heat detector. The misting on the left triggers over two minutes later than the one on the right and reaches a substantially higher temperature as a result. So we can conclude that early activation could be highly beneficial if false alarms can be avoided. For more information, Please visit plumis.co.uk